What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my own part of war. Let's play as the Italian States. In this episode, as we've been doing lots of fighting in Europe, we're going to fight a few battles down here um, in the Middle East. So we demanded the surrender of Jerusalem, but then because sometimes they have a, an army within a city, the garrison surrendered, but the army didn't. It popped out. So now we have to attack them. I think it might be when this guy becomes a field marshal or something. I don't know. Sometimes it's a bit funny. Um, but yes, we're going to go and destroy the leftovers of this army. We've made sure to leave the city and come and attack them from the south to drive them north, or try to drive them north. Let's take them out. Ideally, we will uh, destroy the army entirely, but uh, we'll have to see if that is if that is achievable. I mean, it potentially is because they're there. They are the army is quite weak, but. You know how Empire is. Sometimes uh, you can dis you can smash them on the battlefield and they still run away on the campaign map. And sometimes you can actually you can be fairly sure you've not done it on the campaign map on the battle map and they still disappear. So Martello's going to be up on this raised position here to the rear. The howitzers are going to be firing over the heads of my advancing line. So let's create a line with all my conventional troops, all my regular infantry or better. My mountain jaegers with their pop guns are going to go around the flank on the left. Cavalry is waiting for them on either side. General's going to join them actually because of the nature of the battle. Pikes in the centre. Let's get my Lancer Guards up. We've not really looked, seen many many instances of the Lancer Guards in action, but that is because they aren't a one-shot weapon. They're still good, but the problem is, is once you've fired, they uh, once they're in the melee combat, if you've not won, then they're a bit vulnerable. Okay, let's charge my cavalry forward on the far flank, far right. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Light infantry cease fire. Everyone else. Actually, you can light infantry might see light fire. Ah, oh, no idea why the skirmishes behave like that. Bring the heavy cavalry in. The lancer guards hit the janissaries because they're right there. Drop your lances and charge in. Avoid the combat, my light infantry. We do have bashi bazooks to worry about. Push up the infantry on the left. So the Lancer guards are being now they've been now they've charged. They well they are very much hit and run cavalry. So we've got Bashi Bazooks to worry about. I wanted to get my to keep my light infantry away. Potentially to do something like this. While well, my heavy cavalry attacked there. My general can push up the right flank hard and fast. Bring my Lancer Guards around again. Goes out of it. I do want to charge my charge the enemy there. Uh oh, the bashies are coming. You guys better fire. Oh, 
So their line has collapsed. Get everyone in. Get my men back here. Get my Lancer Guards out of the fight. And my light infantry just be a bit more of a problem than an asset at the minute. I want to get my Zemindaris have charged my Grenadiers on the other flank. But my Grenadiers will like that. My Lancer Guard on the other hand are going to smash the Desert Warriors. Wavering. If they don't break immediately, then I need to get my lancers out. No, oh, there we go. Get my Swiss pikes to chase down the horsemen as well. There we go. Try and make another charge. They just don't have the same impact as heavy cavalry. Because heavy cavalry I really like because you can just send them into the fight and they will stay until it's done. Don't let them get their bows out. with its regiment of lions smash into the desert warriors because even though they are described as an auto they are very much irregulars really they don't have this staying power so let's speed up time actually let's not speed up time yet yeah my pikes destroyed the leftovers of those Skirmish Cavalry. I mean, attacking the Feline, it's, yeah, it's not a very great, good use of my resources, but whatever. Yeah, we're going to continue. Just knock him out. Okay, go after the Desert Warriors. Uh, where's my other unit? You. Yeah, they're gone. So let's try hit the Desert Warriors, although I suppose the... Okay, let's stop the artillery from firing. The Israeli are the well, I was going to say the better target, but the problem is, is Israeli are, they are their line infantry component, but we can easily destroy their line infantry, especially their Israeli. But there we go. I'll take a decisive win any day. The question is though, how will they do? Rupert. Understandably, Palestine, Jerusalem hates us, so we are going to have to occupy the city. Rebuild the military engineer school. Knock down the university. That will go a long way to helping us out. We can repair the hospital. Get the fourth rate to sail along to join the next fleet. And there's the Royal Navy. Oh man of Balbi. We are going to attack the Garrison. Actually, we're going to draw in this fleet, this army as well. That's pretty neat. They'll be behind us, but eh. No defences. Just a good old fashioned attack. Let's take them out. So, the hope is, is that these uh, attacks will draw in some of the forces from Ankara, and when they've done that, 
That's when our armies in Italy will land at various ports within Anatolia, which can then push up, maybe attack the city, but maybe fight a few stacks individually. Ho oh, ho! This is part of, the, again, my artillery units are bu bugged to hell and back. Um, this is part of the reason why I love fighting in this part of the world, because I do like my artillery, and although actually you guys... Nah, nuts. Might I need to move up. That's what I need to do. I can't stay here. Because there's a big ugly rise in the middle of the map. I might put one battery, my super battery, back here. Because now they are equipped with 173 crew. And because they're so big, um, I've actually got an extra gun. Because normally these are supposed to be five. Five guns big. And instead they are six. Well, I might actually just keep them back here. The range is so huge, it's not as much of a problem. So let's put my line infantry in the centre. I want them to storm up to this raised position here. On each flank I want a guard, a fusilier, a grenadier and a rifleman. It might not necessarily be in the correct order, but... I want Rifleman picked first if I'm deploying left to right. That didn't work at all. What if I pick them up last? There we go. 194. Okay, yeah, that's a bug as well. Oh, God, I've just realised. 221 Rifleman. I have no idea why my game is like this. Um, it's funny, personally. <laughs> okay. General on one flank. How it says. There we go. Okay, you guys might actually stay where you are. Maybe you might shuffle. No, but I'm not good. shouldn't have done that at all because now you guys are going to bug out. Should have just not moved you at all. So this massive unit of light infantry, <laughs> yep, I knew they would do a brilliant job against it cavalry at short range. Okay, you guys drop into square though, because that's Sipahi, which isn't quite so good. Let's get the Curiosiers over to help, to bring you guys up. So they have really dug in to the back. It's not going to help them because my artillery has, my field artillery has line of sight. Okay, you charge the Sipahi. So these are these are armoured heavy cavalry, but they are lance cavalry. So they're great, and they do have a lot of staying power, but there is a limit. My, the Rifleman here are doing a great job against these pikemen. Now they're advancing within range of my fire by rank infantry, my regular infantry. They should suffer. There we go. Let's run the fusiliers away if they're going to break square and not get involved. So we did kill their infantry as well. To kill their general, I should say. So 
so my howitzers, they're just they're, they're just out of range in the city. But we can advance. And we're likely we probably might have some uh, shenanigans going on as far as troops in the rear. That's why my curiosity air might stay back. Go. The flashing of Zoot's going down, especially with a rifleman unit 191 strong. Here they are. To be honest, I might keep two cavalry units back because they can at least they can more quickly deal with the fact that something will be happening. Okay, so here's their Azar. You guys keep attacking the Bashi Bazooks. Yeah, they're broken again. Get my general to poke at them for a bit. They're going to come and charge my heavy horse guard artillery, which, funnily enough, might actually be a bad idea for them. Because they have so many men. Just look, just run away. Yeah, my trading teams have gone, but I'm not going to... But I wasn't about to fight. About, I wasn't about to move them anyway. There's very much a chance that my guys could have defended defended against them there entirely on their own. So you engage the Mamelukes really far off. Okay, you guys pick your guns back up. You men open up on those pikes. Garrison Islamic swordsmen. Curious to see how big a massive, how well a massive unit of light infantry did does against pikes. But first. Knock out the sec ban. Quick climb still coming in. There we go. Okay, there we go. We have to finally push on the town. Those Israelis have been obliterated by quicklime. So now, up we go. So engage at extreme range. All the way back here, the the action against that force that was sat in the dockyard is being, well, it's continuing, but they are being wiped out. Let's get the general back over. Get the rifle into the armory. The Mamelukes are broken, which is surprising. 
Smash the cavalry in. You men, go take out the mortars. You men, push the left, because you're likely to find, find that they come back. My Lancer Guards are going after the General's Bodyguard. And they're going after the remaining artillery. Ooh, quick line, that could do some damage, especially against that unit. General Bodyguard has fled. Where's my rifleman? Don't worry, you fellows. You're going to get hit by this regiment of lion. <laughs> I don't see them. <laughs> this, hmm, oh well. Ah! Oh my god. I'm surprised the Mamluks didn't come back, to be honest. My riflemen execute the bodyguard at range. Oh, he got his buddy. No, oh, there they go. Hold on. Oh no, they're routing, okay. My mistake. General's bodyguard is... Oh, he's likely to fl Oh no! Got him off his horse. There we go. Nice. So that was the destruction of the garrison at Damascus. Hurrah! Now we have better eyes eastwards and it looks like we... Well, we are aware that there are armies coming. So let's repair our army. Let us rebuild. Obviously Damascus is now a majority Catholic which is pretty cool. There's no universities to destroy. Upgrade the port. Let's sail these ships along. Well actually now this... These are our ports largely. Sail you over to that fleet. I mean you're in here but you're just an enemy sloop. Uh, you head north to provide a bit of information. Uh, you recruit desert warrior to occupy the, tr the port here. You upgrade a staff college. You're, so you're replenishing and destroying the university. Cairo's doing great. Okay, we've now got... All this, this massive mess to sort out. Because, well, we need to keep pushing the Russians out of our territory. I mean, granted, it used to be theirs, but now it's not. So you're going to go up here. You're going to push against that force there. Mario Torricelli, you are going to leave Minsk. You are going to join forces heading over to America. Nino Boscovich is going to continue heading east. To be honest, most of these armies are going to continue heading east. I'm just getting... I am just overwhelmed by how many armies we have. Michel Contarini with your elite Swiss infantry. Because we mustn't underestimate how many men we are going to need to push against the Mughal Empire. Or well, the Maratha Empire. Fabio Castelli. Yeah, well, you're getting your puckle gun. So that's six units of artillery. Three, four, five, six. Three units. So no Cairo infantry guards because they're so far away. 
Um, okay, just get three units of infantry, I suppose. Ah, no, that's not true. We want some cavalry. So let's get some cuirassier. Let's get some regiment of horse. Good, solid, relatively cheap cavalry. Good. Then we want to take this army here and a Giramo for Oh, no, you're not ready. You're... No, I'm going to let my armies replenish. We've got this force boxed in. I doubt they're going to move. And even if they do move, we can just surround and destroy them. So over here... So yeah, part of the problem we've got is that there's just a huge amount of chaff to destroy. It would be good, actually, to get these tro those troops over here with their fleets. Uh, let's get a naval hospital. Let's get some third rates. Just to bulk out the fleet fairly quickly at a relatively low cost. Okay, let's hit end turn. Yeah, we're continuing to. Ooh! Okay, do I just go. Oh, no. It's... <laughs> I forgot it was end turn phase. I thought the maintain siege would mean I stop and go and get to look around. But no, I'm an idiot. Good God, that's a lot of British troops. Holy smokes. Well, looks like Britain's not going to die easy. Yep, yeah, new fellows can't cross over. I am surprised they've not attempted to push. Really. But what they might, st well, what the the Ottomans might start doing is they, their forces might start to get quite heavily attrited due to bankruptcy. To be honest, Britain might be like that now as well. They might just have so many, so many troops and such a, such little balance that slowly they are losing men. Mm, the garrison is going to sally, but looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the, uh, the sally of the Cherkask garrison. Cheers, everyone.